What is going on, folk? It's Nimblethaw here. I'm excited that you decided to click on this video here today. I hope you'll enjoy this video and this mobile gaming quest I'm on where I document playing a brand new mobile game every single day from Monday till Friday. And today I am checking out Missile Dude RPG, which is an idle clicker that is currently an editor's choice on Google Play with over half a million downloads. And as with any game that becomes an editor's choice, a lot of people will see this game while browsing the app stores. So I figured that I would sit down and I would talk a bit about what I think about the game after having played it for just about 5 or 6 hours at this point. So as with any idle clicker, eventually we'll want to reset our progress to gain a currency used to buy items that then increases the damage output even more. And we can definitely do that if we go in here to the drop port and we can check the amount of gas that we'll get if we go through with this drop port here. That will of course completely reset our progress, so I'm not gonna do that right now, but that is how these idle clickers typically play. But before we reset, what we do is we go in here and we upgrade our launcher to deal more damage whenever we tap the screen, and then we can also go in, because I actually take it one step further, we can go in here to the missiles and we can equip different types of missiles, and some of them are really out there, for example this penguin, or this deadly bamboo here, or a skull, a skull, why not? Or even a sloth on a tree, because of course that can be a missile as well. And you guys know me, I really dig this out there art style. I'm just, I'm loving a game that has humor, and this game certainly has a lot of humor. Apart from that, we also upgrade or acquire new marines. These are soldiers that will fight for us even when we're offline, we're not playing the game, and they will also attack without us having to tap on the screen. But apart from doing just that, we also have dungeons over here, and let's go in and see if we can actually complete the next boss, the Hellworm here, in this dungeon. So let's see if we have enough damage output at this point to defeat this one. It doesn't look too good here. Oh my, it has a lot of HP. Look at that, guys. It's probably gonna take quite a while before we'll be able to defeat this one. Yeah, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna wipe, guys. Might as well wipe right now. There we go. Come back later. But we want to complete these dungeons though to get new buildings and as you guys can see we have some buildings that are ready to uh, to be collected from and uh, some of them create resources such as this one here. This one up here uh, upgrades the launcher levels now. Our launcher will have leveled up one time and this one down here if I remember correctly upgrades a random armor piece. So that's if we go in here to the marine it'll upgrade one of these at random. But now, guys, let's go in and see if we can actually increase our DPS just a tiny bit. What do we want to go for? We have a lot of gold to spend. So I would say we go for we go for this Predator here and try to get it to level 50. So we get unit damage plus 650%. So let's see if we have enough to actually do that. We can upgrade it 10 times. Yes, there we go. So now that one deals 8.8 .8 billion damage per second. So it's probably time to upgrade this one here as well. So that one gets to, where? how far can we get that one? To 10 billion actually, to 10 billion damage per second. That's awesome. So now we deal a lot more damage and we might actually be able to continue to this boss here at level 650. We can also use one of our skills. So let's use one of those right now. That one deals, I think, 17,000% attack. 17,000% uh, of our normal attack. It deals that in one big attack. So we defeated the boss there. That's awesome, and now we are at stage 652. We are getting to the point, though, at this point in the game, where we will probably want to reset for the first time. So I'm thinking if maybe we should do that right now so you guys can see how exactly that works. Resetting, though, does mean that we'll reset all of our levels, so we'll go back to just level 1. But let's do it right now anyway, so let's warp back here. 3, 2, 1, and there we go. <laughs> I'll be back. Did you guys see that? That's awesome. So now we are back at stage one. Let's have a look at what we kept. We kept all of our missiles. Did we keep any of our marines? No, we didn't. But we did keep our missiles and our launcher is back to level one as well. So the cool thing about these types of games, these idle slash auto games, is that it's a game that you can just come back to every few hours or you can have it open on your phone while working, as I did yesterday, and then go in and upgrade things and defeat new dungeons every just every once in a while. Maybe every half hour, maybe every hour, or something like that. But the downside of this game is that it's very quickly turning into one big incentivized advertisement loop. Because to attack automatically for a few minutes, instead of having to tap the screen constantly, we can watch an advertisement. And I've actually done that right now. In the top corner, you guys can see a countdown. Counting down, it's at... 45 seconds, 43 seconds right now. When that one reaches zero, we will have to start actually tapping the screen to attack, unless we, of course, buy some of these marines in here. So, yes, you will be watching advertisements every five minutes or so to make things go a bit faster. 
And of course, we're not forced to watch them. Don't get me wrong, we're not forced to watch them. But you will want to watch them because you want to progress as quickly as possible. I think at this point, I've probably seen over 60 advertisements in this game. And I wasn't forced to watch them. But I felt that I need to watch them to really keep progressing in the game. And I'm afraid that this might start frustrating some players eventually. What do you think about that? Do let me know in the comment section down below. Apart from that, the game monetizes through inner purchases that I would honestly advise you to not buy as they aren't really needed. So just stay away from those guys as long as you are at least willing to watch advertisements. You don't really, you don't really need to, to buy any of the inner purchases. At least I haven't felt forced to buy any of them so far. So I guess the question really is, is the game worth the editor's choice that it has gotten? I would say if you're willing to watch advertisements, then yes, the game is quite enjoyable as an idle clicker and it has a lot of fun weapons and I'm really digging the art style. But if you don't like the advertisements, then I would stay far, far away from Missile Dude RPG because you will be watching a lot of those, a lot of them, like seriously guys, probably between 100 and 200 if you play this for, for about a week or so rather actively. But thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this video. Let me know what you think about the game in the comment section down below. And now for the mobile gaming fact of the day, which is that Lords Mobile, you know, one of those games with the face of a screaming man as the app icon, yeah, one of those, has earned over $825 million in revenue worldwide at this point from a total of 129 million downloads. So they probably don't have 129 million active players, but I did read that in one month this year at least, they had 10 million monthly active users. That's quite amazing. Congratulations to the success uh, of Lords Mobile. Have you played it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.